Reinforced concrete chimneys are commonly used in power plants for venting hot flue gases or smoke to the outside atmosphere. In the past few years, the height of power plant concrete chimneys has increased to enhance the draw of air for combustion and to disperse impurities over a greater area to reduce impurity concentrations. The slip form system is an electrically controlled hydraulic system that climbs using jacks. The hourly rate of the slide or lifting varies depending on the setting rate of the concrete, the supply and placement of reinforcements, box outs, inserts, as well as the climatic conditions encountered. Firstly, survey the top of the foundation along the inside and outside wall lines to ascertain the highest point, as this will be used as a reference level for the assembly of the slip form rig. Position and level the main ring in the center of the chimney, and from the main ring the component trusses can be secured and the lower radial mechanisms fitted to the correct radius. Place the internal yoke posts in the pre-arranged locations near the circumference of the chimney, and once done, the spider ring and top deck support beams can now be fitted from the main ring and secured to the top of the inside yoke posts. Secure the spider beams to the internal yoke posts using the upper radial mechanism, and afterwards, the external yokes can now be secured in place and the upper and lower cross head beams are fitted into place. Use timber decking to board the main working and top spider decks. External hanging scaffolds are fitted to the external yokes posts and timber planks span between brackets. The lower hanging scaffold, debris, and safety nets can only be fitted once the slip form is moving and raised off the ground. Steel shuttering will be used to resist the lateral pressures of the concrete during placement. The steel shutters are made in sections that lap each other with adjacent laps alternate in direction. The whaler bars are placed first and then the steel shutters are secured into position. During the assembly of the steel shutters, the required horizontal steel reinforcement can be installed up to the height of 1200 mm. Care should be taken to ensure the height of the installed horizontal reinforcement does not exceed the underside of the cross head spanning between the inside and outside yoke posts. The whaler bars, solid round bars that are pre-bent to the required radius, are placed and secured by detachable combs that are bolted to the back of the steel shutters. The whaler's bars are overlapped to ensure continuous support around the back of the steel shutters. Holes formed through the lower sections of the yoke post allow for the passage of the whaler bars through the yoke positions. When the installation of the shutter system, including yokes, is completed, it is then checked for taper and plumb. Next, place the jacks into position and connect and test the hydraulic system. In addition, attach a water level system to each internal yoke for reference and monitoring during sliding operation. For the vertical reinforcement bars, these need to have at least three different lengths to permit for staggered placement, as this allows for better control and continuity during the works. Lastly, use a punch list to thoroughly check the entire slip form rig assembly. The list shall include scaffold access, and emergency backup equipment and procedures. Once complete, the slip form rig is ready for sliding. <laughs>